Aerodromes are all required to be equipped with a means of indicating the wind direction to non-radio aircraft. The rules of the air require an aircraft commander to land and take off into wind, so there must be a means of its indication. A means of communicating visual signals to non-radio aircraft is also required, and it must be positioned in the visual control room. An aerodrome shall be equipped with at least one wind direction indicator, and it shall take the form of a truncated cone of a white or orange coloured fabric of not less than 3.6 metres, and having a diameter at the large end of not less than 0.9 metres. This is commonly called a wind sock, and is placed on an aerodrome to give a clear indication of the direction of the surface wind, and a general indication of the wind speed. The wind sock should be visible from a height of at least 300 metres, and be conspicuous from its background. One of the wind socks should have a ground circle around it, 15 metres in diameter, and the indicator should be illuminated for night use. When provided, a landing direction indicator shall be located in a conspicuous place on the aerodrome. It shall take the form of a T, and be either white or orange, whichever is the best contrast with the background, and be illuminated at night. The landing direction shall be in line with the body of the T, towards the top. A signalling lamp shall be provided at a controlled aerodrome in the visual control room. It shall be capable of producing red, green and white signals and be able to be aimed manually at a target as required, give a signal in any colour and then give another signal in either of the other two colours, and Transmit a message in any one of the three colours by Morse code, at a speed of at least four words a minute. The provision of a signals area at an aerodrome implies that non-radio traffic is permitted to operate there. No signal square is needed if the local authority does not authorise non-radio air traffic arrivals. If a signal square is needed, then it should be located so as to be visible for all angles of azimuth above 10 degrees above the horizontal, when viewed from a height of 300 metres. It shall be on an even surface and be of at least 9 metres square and surrounded by a 0.3 metre wide white border.